What about enduring legacies, Bill? Well, I hope, and I like to think, that the IC has played an important role in introducing new work, new ideas, and provided a platform for important debates and discussions. I think also it helped fight the, um, the, the growing determination of government to support big institutions, the National Theatre, the Royal Opera House, all these big institutions that take the large part of the government money and it's, it's crucially important that smaller institutions and ones that are working in specialized areas and not just the IC but lots of others get support and that we have a diversity of institutions not just some big mega national organizations and I think ICA helped do that I think always we could have done more but we were we, we built alliances and collaborations with things like Dance Umbrella, with Lyft, but also with other institutions. And I've been very conscious that although we were in the middle of London, it was, it was our responsibility to reach out and to support and collaborate with institutions up and down the country on, on, on a smaller scale. Um, when I arrived, 70% of our income came from government. When I left, it was 30%. It wasn't that the others cut us, but we actually earned more. And we had to earn from sponsorship, from foundations, from grants, from tickets. And I, I'm not sure we should have ever argued that we should be free like the national galleries. But I think that there was a burden of financial um, mis miserliness on the part of Arts Council and government towards institutions like ICA uh, because they believed that it only served an interest of small numbers of people. Um, Salary-wise, for example, I was the highest paid person in the ICA, but I was paid less than the lowest paid at the English National Opera. And we had no pensions. And when the Tate Modern came on and received hundreds of millions of government money, it proved there was an, a public out there, an appetite. I mean, they'd done really well, but it was always there. It just, it wasn't being nurtured. It wasn't being supported by government. And I think you, the same could be said of new opera, same could be said of some of some areas of new music and 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 new theatre. I think that it, they've had a raw deal in this country, the development of new work. And I think in fashion and design, it didn't depend on government support in the same way, and so they managed to break through. I think the government has still been um, terrified of unleashing the full creative. Um, possibilities of young artists in Britain.